Now, the mobilization by the West comes in response to Russia's actions, with Western leaders saying the buildup of Russian forces along Ukraine's border is larger than anything seen since the end of the Cold War. Ukraine says there are at least 127,000 Russian troops at its borders, and thousands more are expected to arrive in Belarus soon. They're armed with tanks, artillery and fighter jets. In another video released by the Russian Defense Ministry, the Northern Fleet could be seen holding exercises. One group of Ukrainian military experts has estimated that Russia is at least two to three weeks away from completing its deployment of forces to Ukraine. While Western and Russian diplomats have had multiple meetings in various locations over the last several weeks, the country they were discussing was largely left out of most of those talks. Ukrainians are now taking their security into their own hands. Reports suggest that Kiev has been preparing a territorial defense force. That force mostly consists of volunteers training to defend the Ukrainian capital and Ukrainian territory from any attack. Those on the front line fear that diplomatic discussions will achieve nothing. Я не думаю, что они за типа за те эти переговоры для того, чтобы договориться. То есть Европа как бы у них там, понятно, что они там боятся, у них там свои страхи, у них там свои дела, желания. Вот. А Россия эти переговоры не интересны. У них есть свои задачи, которые надо выполнять, которые поставили эти планы. In the event of an invasion, Ukraine's military would be vastly outnumbered. Here are some numbers comparing the military strength of the two countries. While Ukraine's forces are stronger than they were seven years ago, the West is in no doubt that they would be quickly overwhelmed, which is why they are scrambling to send in reinforcements. The decision to fast-track arms to Ukraine signals a consensus that Russia could attack soon at any time, the White House says. But Russia has denied it is planning an invasion. Instead, the Kremlin accused Washington of fueling tensions over Ukraine. Russia reiterated that the crisis is being driven by US and NATO actions rather than by its own buildup of troops at the Ukrainian border.